Hi there, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Mike Pitt. I make videos about marketing, business, and crypto so that you can grow your business, increase your profits, and increase the size of your portfolio. The title for today's video is How much Bitcoin do you need? Keep watching and I'll give you my thoughts. Before I get into the main content of the video, I'm gonna put my socials on screen here. So if you're active on any of those profiles, follow me there, connect with me there, send me a message, and I'll respond in the usual fashion. Okay. How much Bitcoin do you need? I'm I'm very well aware that there are some new subscribers, new people watching. Hello, hi, thanks for joining us. Uh, because of that, I just want to explain some of the fundamentals around Bitcoin because you may be new to the area of cryptocurrency investing and Bitcoin specifically. So I'll, I'll, I'll touch on a few of those and then I'll give my answer to this question, how much Bitcoin do I think you need? Remember, this is a video made for edutainment purposes and it does not constitute financial advice. You can do your own uh, research always before you make any investment decisions. Okay, so uh, if you are thinking about investing in cryptocurrency, one of the best places you can do that is in using a cryptocurrency exchange called Binance. There's a link to Binance in the description below. And it's one I, after watching the market for a few years, it's a, an exchange I'm happy to recommend and the fees are low. Uh, so it's something, and it's the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. So click on the link to start buying Bitcoin. If you want to start buying Bitcoin, uh, click on the link below. Okay, so for those that don't know, there are only there will only ever be 21 million bitcoins, and that scarcity and finite supply has a massive impact on the value and and price action associated with Bitcoin. I'm not going to go into the history of Bitcoin now. Uh, I've covered that in some other videos, uh, but what I will say is because there are only 21 million. Uh, it, and people, generally speaking, have not invested in Bitcoin. When I say people, generally, let me give you some specifics. In the UK, around 4% of UK owners have invested in Bitcoin. And it's 2022, it's uh, September when I'm recording. Uh, in some other countries, it's higher. So I think in America, it's about 15, 15 to 20% of adults have invested in Bitcoin at one time or another and are holding Bitcoin uh, currently. Uh, so there's still a lot of scope for mass adoption. If you don't know what I mean by mass adoption, watch the video, I'll put a, a screenshot above a thumbnail. You can click on that and watch that about mass adoption and why mass adoption represents a huge opportunity for you, the regular retail investor, the regular person, uh, to invest in cryptocurrency and benefit from that. Okay, so finite supply, 21 million Bitcoins. So now has a brand, there's a brand behind Bitcoin, Bitcoin has recognition. There's also a lot of data around the price action. So Bitcoin was just a few, there was, uh, you could used to be able to buy, uh, used to be able to get lots of maybe hundreds of Bitcoins for a few dollars. Obviously now uh, it's 20,000. Let me just look at the price. I think it's 19,000. Let me just read live, the live figure. It's $19,906 at the time of recording for each Bitcoin. And at one point it was just a few dollars uh, and it was less than a dollar uh, even before that. So uh, if you were to uh, want to use Bitcoin as an investment vehicle and and give yourself a, a stronger financial future, not just yourself, but also your family, then I suggest that you try to invest in Bitcoin. The ideal figure, the ideal number of Bitcoin or part, and people get confused by this, you can invest small amounts of Bitcoin and buy small amounts of Bitcoin. You don't have to buy just one Bitcoin. Uh, so you can buy half or quarter, 0.1, etc., 0.0001x, all of these different fractions of a Bitcoin you can buy. If you want Bitcoin to be life-changing for you or to have a significant positive financial impact, which I think is something that we can, we can say with some kind of certainty, then I believe you should try and buy up to one Bitcoin. So if there's one Bitcoin is currently 20,000, you might be saying, Mike, there's no way I haven't got to spare 20,000 lying around. We are currently in a bear market. So the price of Bitcoin is lower than it has been. It's all time high uh, in November 2021 was around $60,000. It's now currently 20,000. So that represents uh, a considerable discount on the, its all time high. And if you look at the, and I'll put a screen on, I'll put a, a, 
graph on screen now. If you look at the historical performance of Bitcoin, it goes like this, it's up and down, but the trend is up. So once you understand that, the trend is up and also that there's a scarcity element. So there's 20, only 21 million Bitcoins. Ethereum, which is the second largest crypto asset by market cap size, has at least 122 million uh, coins in circulation and the maximum supply is not known. So it could be more than that. So there you can see uh, there's a lot more Ethereum available and uh, the, the actual finite supply is not known at this stage. So uh, if you recognize the trend is upwards for Bitcoin uh, and you're able to invest and you have and you feel that that's, that's what you want to do, you should try and get to one Bitcoin. If you can't get to one Bitcoin, maybe it's you get to half a Bitcoin, uh, which would represent $10,000. And I'll put on screen uh, what the equivalent of $10,000 is in pounds. Uh, so you don't have to do it all in once. You can do it uh, in incremental steps. So you might do a, a certain amount of money. You invest each month, 100 pounds, 200 pounds, etc., or an equivalent in dollars or euros. And that's called dollar cost averaging when you spread it out and you have at least the duration of the bear market. The bear market prices are, are depressed or pushed down because there's a lot of uh, negative sentiment in the market. There's a lot of uncertainty. Interest rates are being hiked up in various countries. Please watch my video about why Bitcoin dipped under 20,000 and I make reference to the uh, the Federal Reserve and Jerome Powell and his part in all of that. Um, so there's a number of uh, macroeconomic factors that impact on the price of Bitcoin. At the moment, uh, the price of Bitcoin is, I would say, uh, lower than you'd expect uh, because of these factors. So inflation, we're going into a recession, if we're not already in a recession, I don't know where you're watching this. Some countries are already in recession, some countries are approaching recession. Not just that, there's also the conflict in the Ukraine uh, with Russia. So that's had an impact uh, on the pricing uh, of Bitcoin as well. And when we come out of the bear market, whether that's nine months, 12 months, uh, 18 months, the investment that you've made will start to reap dividends. If you can move to a position where you're trying to get to ownership of one Bitcoin, which you uh, uh, you know will then put into cold storage, then uh, when the uh, market conditions are more favorable and we go into a bull run, that Bitcoin, uh, that one Bitcoin or that 0.5 of a Bitcoin will be worth, uh, as I say, a, a significantly, it will be a significant financial impact uh, on your life and a positive financial impact on your life. Yeah, well, I, I would say conservatively that in the next few years, the price of Bitcoin will probably will 10x. So I can say it's, it's 20 now. 20k now for one bitcoin in a few years time it will be worth 200k and that sounds ridiculous but then think about it there's a finite supply lots of these large corporations the black rocks and i made a video about that as well black rocks and the uh, goldman sachs they've been investing in bitcoin even your high street banks that tell you not to touch bitcoin because it's very volatile behind the scenes they are investing in bitcoin yourself make sure you can cover all essential bills and so on uh, first before you do anything uh, in terms of crypto assets. Thanks for watching. I hope this discussion has been useful to you. Uh, if you've liked this video, give me a like. Please click on one of the thumbnails to watch another video from me. I look forward to speaking to you next time. Let me know your thoughts about Bitcoin without uh, declaring what's in your portfolio. I don't want you to be followed and hacked or anything like that from uh, comments that you leave under my video. So let me just rephrase that and just say, just give me your thoughts, but don't talk, tell me how much Bitcoin you've got or anything like that. Okay, I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.